Welcome to A-Level and AP Physics. In today's lesson, we will discuss one very important and typical type of question on mechanics from May June 2021 paper to one. I said it is important because in this question, we will apply concepts of moment, forces, energy and momentum together. So it's a great combination of all these concepts and very important question to improve your understanding of mechanics. For this question, it is given to us a pendulum concept consists of a solid sphere suspended by a string from a fixed point P as shown in figure 3.1. It is also given to us the string has fixed length and negligible weight, means we can ignore the mass of the string. A resistance is also negligible. For part A on figure 3.1, we need to draw a solid line to represent the displacement of the center of the sphere at position y from position x. First of all, it is given to us the center of the sphere is at this point. Then center of sphere is at this point. Now we need to find the displacement. Displacement is the shortest distance between initial and final position. So this one is our initial and this is final. So if you want to write down, you can say that this is the initial position of sphere and this one is the final. So simply we can say this one is final position so this one is final now we need to find the displacement so displacement is simply is the shortest distance between these two points so simply we need to connect these two points by a solid line so this is how you can draw the solid line for part b we need to show that mass of the sphere is 0 0.30 kg but for this question momentum of the sphere is given and kinetic energy is also given in the previous part if you read question kinetic energy is also given and kinetic energy is equal to 0.86 joules means kinetic energy at point x is also given now we need to find out what is the mass of the sphere the question is that how we can link kinetic energy and momentum if we can link kinetic energy and momentum then it is quite easy to find the mass of the sphere first of all let's try to link momentum and kinetic energy kinetic energy is simply this is equal to one half m v square and if we multiply kinetic energy with m and we divide by m so simply it means we are just multiplying by one then we can simplify this now if you look at this now so we have mm so we can write down this will be m square and this will be v square and divided by m but if you look at this one m square v square we can write down p is equal to mv so if we have m square v square we can say this is mv square so this is momentum means the square of momentum so this is one small point you need to understand now if we write down this equation in terms of momentum we can say this is p square divided by m uh, simply we can say kinetic energy is equal to p square divided by 2m so it simply means that we can say that kinetic energy is equal to p square divided by 2m for this question we need to find mass so we can rearrange this we can write down this is p square divided by 2ke means kinetic energy momentum is given to us the value of momentum is 0.72 square of this divided by 2 times kinetic energy and that is equal to 0 0.86 now simply we need to calculate if we solve this one using calculator our final answer will be 0 0.8 three zero kg up to two sf and this is our final answer this question has three marks and the first mark is if you have written this equation this relationship and second one if you have plug-in values this is second mark this is actually c mark this is also c mark and the last one is answer mark so this is a mark so if you have done these steps you will get this three marks for part c we need to calculate height h means we need to find out value of this small h for this question it is given to us the kinetic energy at point x this is equal to 0 0.86 and when the ball reaches at 
point y the speed of the ball is equal to zero it simply means that kinetic energy at this point this is equal to zero we can take this reference line where we can assume that the gravitational potential energy is equal to zero but it is also given to us for this question there is no air resistance it simply means that in this case mechanical energy is conserved means the initial mechanical energy is equal to final mechanical energy so simply by using conservation of mechanical energy we can write down kinetic energy initial plus gravitational potential energy initial this has to be equal to kinetic energy final plus gravitational potential energy final kinetic energy initial is given that is 0 0.86 and gpe initial is equal to zero ke final is equal to zero and gpe final we can say this is equal to mgh so h is the height now we need to find out h so as simply we can say that this will be equal to 0 0.86 divided by mg divided by mg so this is 0 0.86 and the mass we have already found the value of mass was 0 0.30 kg in part b and value of g at as level we have to use 9.8 one now if we do these calculations our final answer will be 0 0.29 meters so this is our final answer this question has two marks and the first mark is for writing the formula for gravitational potential energy if you have written this step you will get one mark and the second mark is answer mark if you have got the right answer you will get two marks for part d we need to show that theta is 47 degrees and theta is the angle of the string with vertical so this is string string is at this position now this is the string and this is vertical and theta is the angle between string and vertical we need to find out its value length of the string is given in the question it is given to us this is 0 0.93 so the length of the string we can simply write down this is 0 0.93 meters now if we can complete right angle triangle then it is very easy to calculate angle so this is our right angle triangle means this angle is 90 degrees if we look at this angle this is the angle with vertical if we look at the angle of vertical with horizontal this total angle will be 90 degrees theta is given so this angle has to be 90 minus theta this is right angle triangle so the sum of these two angles has to be equal to 90 so this angle has to be theta now it is also given to us we have calculated h that was equal to 0 0.29 so the length of this side of the triangle this is 0 0.93 minus 0 0.29 now we have the length of this side and we have the length of string so simply we can say in this case cos of theta this will be equal to 0 0.93 minus 0 0.29 divided by the length of the string this is 0 0.93 we can also construct this triangle again now we can simply construct this triangle like this in this case this angle is the theta and this side is given to us this is 0 0.93 minus 0 0.29 and this side is 0 0.93 we are simply calculating this angle now if we solve this one for theta our final answer will be 47 degrees and this is our answer and this is answer mark so this is a mark for part e we need to calculate the moment of its weight about point p when the sphere is at position y it means when the sphere is at position y we need to calculate its moment about point p we can approach this problem using two different methods it means two different approaches the first approach can be we can simply multiply force with perpendicular distance between line of action of the force and the pivot so this can be one way to answer this problem and the second way to answer this problem can be we can resolve force into its components 
and we can multiply the perpendicular component of the force with the distance between pivot and point of action of the force. First of all, look at the first approach. So, force we can take, in this case, the force acting at this point is simply equal to the weight of the sphere. So, it is equal to weight of the sphere. We need to multiply this one with the perpendicular distance between line of action of force, this is line of action of force and the pivot point. And that distance, this is d perpendicular. And this distance is simply equal to, if we construct this triangle, you can simply understand this one. This is the angle theta. We have calculated this angle theta is 47 degrees, mean this angle. And this side is given, this is 0 0.93, this is length of the string. Now we need to find this side. So this is simply equal to 0 0.93 sine of 47 degrees. So if we multiply these two, we can find moment. So this is mg. Uh, we need to multiply this one with 0 0.93 sine of 47 degrees. And we can calculate the value of moment. M in this case is given that is 0 0.93 and the G we need to use is 9.81. We need to multiply this one with 0 0.93 sine of 47 degrees. So this is sine of 47. If we solve this, our final answer will be 2.0 Newton meters. This is how we can approach. And the second way to answer this one, we can resolve this weight into its components. So we can resolve into two components. So these are two components. There is no moment due to this component because this is passing through. Line of action of this component is passing through the pivot. So there is no perpendicular distance. So there is no moment due to this one. There is moment only due to this component. First is only due to this component. We need to find out this angle. Alternate angles are equal. So this angle is also theta. I mean this angle is 47 degrees. Now if this angle is 47 and this component will be mg sine of 47 degrees. So this perpendicular component is mg sine of 47 degrees. So f perpendicular is mg sine of 47 degrees and the distance between point of action of the force and pivot is 0.93. So we can say this is 0.93. Now you can see these two are the same. So simply if we solve this, our final answer also will be equal to 2.0 Newton meter. So this is the answer. So we have two approaches. You can resolve distance into its components or you can resolve force into its components. Your answer will be the same. But sometimes one approach is easier than the other one based on the given data and based on the given situation. This question has two marks and the first mark is if you have written this relationship you will get one mark and this is C mark and the second mark is answer mark. If you have got the right answer you will get two marks. For our next part we need to state and explain whether the sphere is in equilibrium when it is stationary at position y. And this is the confusing point. They have given you when it is stationary and often students they get confused with this point. Then this question is very similar to this one. When the ball is at the highest point, the speed of the ball is zero at this point. But still there is a gravity that is acting on this ball that is mg. So the acceleration of this ball is still a is equal to g even when the ball is at the highest point. So this question is similar to this one based on this understanding. Now when the sphere is here it is at rest. It is stationary but at the same time its direction of motion is changing. So there is a force acting on this one that will cause the change in its motion. So there is a force acting on the sphere at this point. So this is what you need to understand. Now let's try to look at the forces now. When the sphere is here, there is one force that is acting up, that is the tension in the string. And one is a component of 
the weight that is acting along this line and these two are equal because sphere is not moving along this line then the sphere will start moving this way and so there is a force acting on the sphere and this force is the component of the weight so this is mg sine 47 so this is the component of the weight so it simply means that there is resultant force when the sphere is stationary at position y so there is resultant force it simply means that this is not in equilibrium so first thing you can state not in equilibrium so this is one thing you have to state now you need to explain why simply you can say there is resultant force acting on sphere you can say there is resultant force so simply if you write down this one why it is not in equilibrium because there is resultant force acting on sphere you will get one mark for this question this is how we can approach so there is a resultant force because direction of motion is changing and that resultant force is equal to the component of the weight